All right. This video is about reptile incubators, like python incubators, for instance. Um, this is the incubator I used last year. I made it out of the cooler. This is the cooler method. Basically, this is 150 quart, or you could use 120 quart. First thing that you're going to need is at least two, one or two thermometers, a thermostat, some PVC piping, some elbows for the PVC piping. You're going to need heat tape. Uh, zip ties, and basically this is egg crate. That's what it's called at the store, Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, and they come in sheets of like I don't know four by two, I think. Either way, you would you would cut it out to the size of the frame that you make the frame out of the PVC, and you wrap the heat tape around it so that it doesn't touch. It won't touch while it's laying down. And um, then you take the egg crate and you cut it to the size of the frame. And the frame fits exactly, like perfectly inside the incubator. So, and then all the wires come out of the drain hole, which is right down there. There's a drain hole. And the uh, two probe wires come in through the drain hole. Then you need three steel pans. They fit inside perfectly, depending on the size or shape of the steel pan. You can get it at a restaurant supply store. Um, these are the plastic tubs that the eggs go in. I put water in there and I used it to incubate chondro eggs last year and I successfully hatched them. So this is the way I do it. This is what worked for me. These are um, drain sheets and I made it so that the water doesn't go past the draining sheet or plate, whatever it's called. And then this is the top that comes with it. This is all from the restaurant supply store. I have three of them and I'm going to show you how I basically put it together. First, you have your first PVC frame, egg crate, and the heat tape wrapped around it. Then, you would take the steel pans and you'll fill them with um, distilled water or boiled water. Either or works. You definitely don't want like tap water though, you want good water. Something sterile. I guess, so to speak, about water, and you just line them up in there. This helps, I think, with humidity, but really it helps to balance the heat, and it also helps to keep heat inside the incubator if you open it. It helps for the heat not to, um, you know, get all off temperature. So then you put the next frame in with the e with the egg crate and the probes. I put them in the middle. This is the thermostat and the thermometer probe. Try to get them to stay in the middle. Then I take one of these. This is the egg tubs, and I put it right on top there. Pretty simple. And when I put eggs in there, I'm either using uh, a deli cup, such as these right here. And I would just put the eggs inside there. And you could fit four deli cups in here. You know, one, two, three, four, pretty much like that. And then you just close it. You know, and then pretty much once a week I would check on them and you know a little bit of air exchange they have a hole in the top for like a ladle but it still worked i don't know they weren't per perfectly sealed but it hatched them out so it worked and also you could just put you could get like an extra sheet of the egg grate and cut it out you know to fit inside the the, the tub and some people i've seen they have like substrate on the bottom and then they'll have like two layers of egg crate and put the eggs right on top of the egg crate, just line them up so that they don't touch the substrate and they just soak the substrate basically to keep, you know, the humidity up for the eggs, depending on what eggs you're incubating. But that's pretty much it. And then this is the thermostat I use is a Ranko. You could use a Helix, a Ranko, you know, Spider Robotics, pretty much any kind of um, thermostat.
thermostat as long as it's as it works and it's good. And then here's my extra thermometer. I just stick it right here. I have the probe inside. Right now it's at 72 degrees in about five minutes. It usually takes. It'll be up to 88 degrees. That's what I pretty much incubate all my eggs at. So this will pretty much work for any python eggs. This year I'm going to put some carpet python eggs in there and maybe ball pythons. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.